Okay, Tuesday, leg day. Always been uh, far enough away from the weekend to be recovered and also far enough from next weekend to get good hard efforts in and really trash the legs. And there's enough recovery time through the next weekend for any racing or events that are coming up. Now I've got my eye on a slight rise comm up here. It's about 19 seconds long. It's a little bit tricky. I've got to make sure there's no cars coming. The current comm's 19 seconds. So lap one is gonna be just absolutely flat out. And then my subsequent laps are gonna be seated low cadence, just get it done. So it looks clear now. I've already done an hour on Zwift as a warm up. All right, let's go have a crack at this. Okay, no cars. Got to get the gearing right. Looks clear to me. Let's do it. It's on. Excuse the uh, double lines. Okay, technical corner. Nah, I don't need to come up the inside of that one to get it. Nah, abort, abort. We have to come up the inside of that corner. You just wash off way too much speed. Okay, big ring is good, but I've got to do the inside. So, scoping this place out, okay. No one's there. Got to count the inside here. Well, it's not really the thing to do. There's no one around. Let's give it a crack. So same again. Clear back, clear up. Okay, no one's around. Take two. Not quite sure to be honest. You've got to take the risks around those corners. You've got to be sure no cars coming the other way. I think I lost a bit on that right hander. It kicks a little bit. Might require just one gear change down to keep on top of the gear and to keep that momentum up. Wind wise, it's pretty protected. So there's not going to be a, a lot of wind benefit there. The run in, that's probably as quick as you'll get the run in. But I think it's about maybe a second with the same power. It's probably about a second, maybe a second and a half to gain the top section. So that's the second warm up done, I guess. So now what we're gonna get into is, I was gonna be 10, but that's, I've already done it here twice. Let's go nine repeats from here, seated in the, it'd be the 53 chain ring on the front seated they're not maximum power efforts but they're just maximum tension on the legs just you've got to break that muscle down just you just have to hurt yourself so the training benefit for these again it's strength this is effectively my gym session i've never done any gym work at all for cycling but i've done a lot of these strength type efforts over in perth resulted in some really really good power short time trial slash prologue efforts um, in the races i did subsequently to doing these sessions so let's get stuck into it
So session done on the hill just behind us over here. The hill was a little bit short, I think, but it was still a good workout. 10 reps of that, plus the absolute leg opener at the start, plus the hour before on Zwift. It's been a good day. Next time, I think I'll find a hill two minutes long, maybe five minutes long. These can be done up to eight minutes. The power that I put out today for those efforts, those 10 repeated efforts, I really wasn't looking. It was probably 350 to 400, maybe 450 at the top. Uh, it, the gradient changes a bit as well, so you have to grab a few gears, and I'm on a stages, so it takes a little while to think about what power you're actually doing. You can pretty much throw the head unit away today. It was just a lap counter, that was it. So to summarize today's workout was an hour on Zwift at a pretty solid pace, and then one absolute flat out effort up that climb. So all out for probably 20 seconds, 22, 25 seconds maybe, and then 10 reps of seated, really big gear, big strength efforts just to really load the legs. So recovery time now and back into it tomorrow. Alrighty, thanks for watching.